Come with me far into October, near the end of fall. When butterflies are on their wing, and fuzzy caterpillars munch on the last leaves of Indian summer, where bushy-tailed squirrels scramper to hide food for the coming winter, and field mice ready their nest, the red fox silently awaits the coming cold as ducks head south in search for warm weather and open water. Soon, Jack Frost will signal the cold north winds to come howling over the plains into the pumpkin patch. Where sits the littlest pumpkin? Halloween has come and Pumpkin was not picked to be a jack-o'-lantern. He will have to spend winter alone in the patch. In November, around Thanksgiving, winter snows come calling. Now Pumpkin will settle in for a long winter's nap. As the north wind blows colder, Pumpkin will shrink and shrivel into the ground along with his seeds. Most of pumpkin seeds will be eaten by field mice. But some of the seeds will nestle into the good earth where they will be protected by snow cover and pumpkin's shrinking walls. The littlest pumpkin will sleep through December. Through January. And through February until the melting snow of March nourished the seeds of sleeping pumpkin. Finally, spring arrives with chirping birds and colorful blossoms bursting forth. Soon, pumpkin seeds will take root into the soft ground, and the first tender sprouts of pumpkin will emerge. Green leaves will take shape and twisting vines will grow. Then yellow flowers will appear, stretching towards the sun, inviting buzzing bees to help with pollination. Pumpkin will begin again as a small green ball, growing bigger and bigger, warmed by the autumn sun. Pumpkin will slowly turn orange. This time, a happy family decides to take Pumpkin home to become a proud jack-o'-lantern, awaiting the little visitors of Halloween.